Hello everyone, it's me A7 if welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll in this tutorial I just going to show you how I made this type of what is the settings and other stuff. So let's start the tutorial. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. So going to the home, I have some uh, like a stock image. I downloaded these photos from unsplash.com and provide you that download link in my description for your practice purpose. So press Ctrl or Command J or you can drag and drop in a plus sign. You'll get another layer which is the copy layer. And after that going to the filter and camera filter. So camera filter is another plugins of the Photoshop like Lightroom. And you can getting all the stuffs, all the settings like Lightroom. And you have that assumption to make the preset for apply in these photos. Going to the load settings options from the dotted, three dotted. That means the uh, like a menu bar actually. From here neon this preset i made it for you guys an instant change you are getting over here so let's see the settings of this the temperature minus 8 tint minus 3 and plus 0 0.08 uh, actually 0 0.80 that is the exposure plus 31 for the contrast and the highlight minus 100 shadow plus 41 and white plus 33 and the blacks minus 10 and the texture plus 2 and clarity plus 25 and dehaze plus 21 and the vibrance that is minus 17 that's why you're getting a little bit desaturated de-vibrated actually and the saturation that is plus 20 now going to the curves here the curves input value 2 output value 0 and input value here the uh, like a 113 and output value like a 112 and here input value 254 and output value 250 so in case you if you just take it in upper side you will get the moody tone over here so this one is another things which is really good for you or you can try your experiment like that so here uh, other curves like uh, red curves the input value 0 and output value 111 and 104 and in like 255 250 and the green like this and the blue that is a little bit up which is uh, like uh, 0 and 10 that's fine going to the detail option sharpening 36 noise reduction 30 and the color noise plus 12 color mixing uh, that means the three things hue saturation luminance hue which color will be saturation percentage of the color luminance the intensity of the color and here the red plus 5 and the orange minus 14 yellow minus 41 green minus 100 echo minus 4 and blue minus 6 saturation plus 7 orange plus uh, 1 and the yellow plus 12 and here the blue plus 5 luminance plus 35 and orange plus 40 and yellow plus 22 and the aqua plus 9 that's good and the color getting in the shadow portion you are getting the color uh, sometimes you couldn't uh, expand that and uh, in the this case you can just press the triangle you'll get the slider and the hue value that is 14 you know you know that the hue is the color which color will be in the photo and the color code is 14 so here the hue value that is uh, 14 and the saturation that is the percentage of the color plus 24 and in a mid tone the less highlighted area the hue that is 42 and the saturation 21 in the highlight portion you are getting the 205 and the, that is saturation 28 the value 205 is good so from here uh, going to the optics geometry no issues over here effects uh, no vignetting or effects calibration the hue of the red primary minus 25 and the green primary plus 65 and saturation minus 4 and the blue primary minus 47 and hit the ok button so you are getting the instant change when you are applying this preset in your photographs so before and after you are getting the huge change over there so hope that you learn a lot from this video if it did please subscribe and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment in my video comment section and in the next video, I'm Insimani signing out today. Stay safe, stay at home. Keep me in your prayers as well. Bye-bye.